Ja, mm. oh, rundsnöja. Clean, fresh, safe water. Uh, the New Zealand drinking standards require that we have that at every household. And as plumbers, uh, that's one of our main jobs is, is to ensure that that happens. This is a filtration tap that's supplied by a carbon taste and odour filter. And if you're in town, your, your water will probably be, be uh, treated by uh, from the council with chlorine and that's good because it gets rid of all any bacteria any any nasties but you may get a, a, a taste of of chlorine in there so we can treat that by using a carbon filter taste and odor filter which we've got here we don't have that problem here because we're in the country so we but our water is not treated by the council it's um we have to treat it ourselves because it's, it comes from a bore on the farm next door and most Rural properties will be from a bore or from roof water, either their own bore or the farm next door's bore that's made, you know, that you've got some agreement with. We have it from a bore, we store it in our own little tank and pump it into the house through a ultraviolet fil filter. A lot of people don't bother with that if they've got bore water, but we do because when you've got stored water in a tank, you can get bacteria growing in them. So we want to ensure we've got clean, fresh, potable water in our, in our house. If you're using roof water, uh, you are getting bird droppings, fallout from fertilizer, and pine pollen, all sorts of stuff on the roof, and that's what's going into your tank. So you, you need to make sure that that's not affecting your water. That's where UV comes in again. We've got a UV, our own UV ultraviolet filtration system, which I need to service, and I'll show you that now. Okay, we've, we've got a water supply coming from our neighbor, Denisa, um, from her bore. They've got their own storage and they feed it in. We, we feed it into our own separate little buffer tank, which you don't have to, but we want to control and have a bit of backup if, if they have a problem. Now that water gets sucked out of that by a pump, squeezes the pressure up to mains pressure. There's three stages of filtration, then it goes through a UV lamp or ballast as they call it. And we've got a 20 micron filter, one micron filter, then a carbon filter, taste and odour. That, that takes out any solids, uh, taste and odour, things like that. Then it goes through the UV and the bugs get zapped. Any, any, any bacteria that's going through there will get zapped and you've got, you've got clean potable water coming out the other end into the house. Now one thing about if you've got water filtration, it must be serviced at least annually. Um, when we install these systems, we put, put them down as a recurring job and we will go back a year later and replace or clean, depending on how bad the water is, the filters, and we have to replace the, the lamp as well. They last just over a year. They have an alarm system on the controller as well, which as you can see is flashing and, and making a noise. If you don't service them, they're useless. Uh, they, they get clogged up and then you might even get worse water. So, but if, they, if they're kept service, serviced annually, you've, you've got a very good, clean, healthy water that you can guarantee. So it's a no-brainer. You have to do this when, you, when you're in, the, in a rural property.